But death metal, please. I'm just trying to quit versus debating, but you keep pulling me back in. Whoa! Anyways, this is Crash versus Spyro. They're actually doing this. Wow. Um, in case you don't know, I grew up with a Sony PlayStation, and I am a huge fan of both of these characters. More so Crash than Spyro. I don't know, Crash was like one of my first video games. Not the first, but one of the first. So I just have a really close personal attachment to Crash. He's my favorite. But oh man, does he get absolutely dominated in this fight. Okay, so let's start off with strength. Crash's greatest strength feat is somewhere around, like, large building to city block level. There is this one town level thing, but it seems like super iffy to me, probably outlier-ish. So yeah, I'd say Crash is like building to city block level at most. He can fight off gigantic titans, he can shake the entire time twister with his body slam, he can survive a satellite crashing into the side of a volcano, and he survived a TNT explosion powerful enough to destroy an entire ocean liner. So yeah, pretty impressive stuff for Crash, about building level. Spyro on the other hand? Just one feat and you'll see why he stomps Crash. Basically, the earth was being destroyed and Spyro just magically pulled the shattered pieces back together. Just did it somehow. Now in the speed department, they should actually be pretty even. When Crash is fighting Air Crunch in the Wrath of Cortex, he's able to fly his plane out of the way of Air Crunch's attacks, which usually move at lightning speeds. He has many lightning-based attacks. And he scales to Dr. Neo Cortex, who's able to dodge the point-blank lightning shot by Madame Amberly in Crash Twin Sanity. And Spyro has also dodged very realistic lightning on rare occasions. And he kinda has lightning breath, so that automatically makes him lightning speed. So both should be around the massively hypersonic to massively hypersonic plus range when it comes to speed. Now when it comes to Arsenal, Crash actually does have a lot. He has his jetpack, he has Aku Aku, and of course he has the Titans, the Wampa Fruit Bazooka, and several other things. But Spyro also has multiple kinds of breath, several kinds of mobility options, and he can fly. So while Spyro's arsenal may not be larger than Crash's, he still has the mobility advantage. Then last but not least, there's intelligence. Now it's very clear that Spyro is the smarter one of the two, but Crash's stupidity sometimes works in his favor. Examples being in Crash Tag Team Racing when he was able to defeat Cortex by throwing a chicken into the thrusters of his ship. Or like in Crash Twin Sanity when he thinks of all the different ways to fling Cortex's body around to solve puzzles. Crash Bandicoot is a very that's so stupid it just might work type of character. So I'd say in intelligence it does kind of even out. Their wit is equal, Crash is faster, Spyro is more mobile, Crash has the bigger arsenal, but Spyro is more powerful. And I mean way more powerful. So despite them having an even number of advantages and disadvantages, Spyro's advantages are just way more potent. So I think the winner of this death battle will be Spyro.